Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Stars 1. So, what's going to happen today? Well, today it's going to be all about the machines. We're going to add on to more of these machines. We're just going to place them right here for now. I've also decided to expand the base a bit, kind of you build the square here. Maybe I'll actually go up a little bit further than that. Maybe we'll do the wrench. Uh, man, I wish it was daytime. <laughs> I'll probably just edit the footage. I'll probably make it brighter so you won't even notice. So yeah, so I'm just gonna uh, left click to pick up the generator. We're gonna move it over to here, I think. Because I just feel it'd be better over here. Let's place it beside the, the distributor because here we're gonna replace this distributor with a better one. So there's already energy in here, which I wanna use up. So the range of this should reach to the edges, and if not, we can always put more distributors in the middle of these. And that's kind of why I'm designing this place, so that way then we can kind of have power, you know, in each of the corners, basically. So yeah, so what are we building now? Well, let's see. We're slowly on our progress to build the workbench high-tech. This is important. We need to make steel plates. How do we do that? Well, we need to make a bunch of machinery now. Now we need to make like a centrifuge, a furnace, stuff like that. So the centrifuge, I did do some grinding. Man, there's a lot of grinding in this game, so just be aware of that. And so that's why I'm doing all of this stuff, so you can kind of see the trouble that I've gone through. You know, I played this game for about five hours in, and then I realized, well, it's time to make some videos, and, and here I am. So anyways, let's carry on. So I've got enough pieces for the centrifuge. We're going to craft one of those because those are important. Then we also need, I think, a crusher and a presser or something like that. We need a crusher, which uses a diamond. Can we craft? Yeah, we do have enough components. Perfect. Crusher. A distiller we don't need yet. I'm not sure what that does. Electrolyzer, not sure what that does. The filler, not sure. The furnace is basically your good old furnace, right? So we can craft one of these ones. Okay, and I think that is it. This will be the machines, and then here is another generator. Can we build another generator? We need more of these simple electronics. So can I build some simple electronics? Yes, I can. Let's do that. Let's build some. That's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. And then let's a generator. Let's type this in generator perfect so let's craft another generator because we're going to be using up a lot of power and so generators help replenish that power oh I don't have enough of these small iron parts see the, the, all these plates we're using up a lot of iron plates basically oh I don't have any iron bars let's grab those iron bars they should be in here I am trying to smelt this stuff and I'm using coal to smelt with now because I've oh, there you go I've got some wood sticks here that I can use okay back into here that's we need to build these small iron parts let's build five of these I think one two three four five and then we can go back to the generator which then we can craft the generator okay beautiful so now Let's move this item to here. I do want to create a box to put all this crap into. Maybe that's the next thing to build. Let's build a box. Uh, is it a chest? Yeah, iron chest. I'll just build an iron chest. It's a little bit cheaper than the wooden one. Well, the wooden one, it, it, your stuff regrows, right? But this one should be okay. Put the shovel on here. So where are we going to put the box? Let's see here. I need some light sources as well. So we have to build lights in here once, as soon as we can do that. Okay, so this is, I think I have the generator sele uh, selected as well. So we're going to put the next one on top. How creative is that, right? <laughs> then this is where the, is this the, dis the centrifuge? Yes, yeah, the centrifuge. And uh, one of these is the presser. Let's see, maybe we'll do that and then uh, this is the, the furnace the crusher the centrifuge oh, okay no so we need a presser as well I wonder if we have enough for that let's take a quick peek here 
because the presser is basically oh no look at that you need steel plates so which we'll get out of the centrifuge okay so now all the stuff will use power from this thing so the centrifuge what this does is you can throw materials in there not all materials but you can throw a lot of these materials in there and it will break them apart let's try some sand here oh looks like some sand will do it let's see what sand gives us um, and I might write this down here so let's see sand will give us silicon powder powder refined that's important to know that and then concrete mix that's cool so now we can make some better blocks with that potentially okay that's really cool so can I put a diamond in here no okay uh, can I put coal ore in, in here no do I have to put more no okay how about copper ore no okay we do have a crusher so what happens if we crush iron I'm just gonna crush a little bit of everything here we'll kind of see what it does here because we do have to learn these things these are important oh what's that this is probably powder iron ore okay that's kind of interesting can I throw this into here oh wow <laughs> See, this is kind of neat what you can do I wonder if I can throw this thing in there we'll have to check that out uh, what will this give me this will give me oh look at this iron powder refined powder titanium dioxide gold powder silver ah that's how you get uh, okay that's how you get these other materials so really you want to crush iron ore so let's crush half of it and then we'll centrifuge it and so what this stuff is doing is this is all using power out of this thing slowly as you can tell now to replenish power we just power up a generator and it replenishes and slowly you'll notice that right now we're operating at a five consumption and five power source so that's what's cool and so this crusher is operating at five we have a furnace here so we could smelt more ingots and whatnot in this method this is the more traditional method here but if we do have to collect more trees and whatnot for more rubber which we do it looks like which i'm going to go ahead and do right now let's grab some food here so yeah so if i have to collect more rubber then yeah then that's going to be more challenging so all i've been doing is i've been eating lemons because that's the best item to eat see it replenishes water and it replenishes your hunger as well so i'm just going to extract all the lemons here okay that's my own footsteps turning <laughs> kind of freaking out there see we got water replenished let's drink up some water here perfect okay i might have to make more water bottles so let's chop this tree down here maybe we can always plant trees again so it's not a big deal so yeah so man stars one so i'm not sure what you all think of it but basically it's very early access as you can highly tell <laughs> about that just because of the way it feels the way it behaves the way it operates i did find some potatoes that's what these potato seeds are i crafted some potato seeds i'm just kind of poking around now and wandering around we got some bananas here the banana tree that's kind of how i got them to grow before so let's kind of chop down some trees here let's chop down these maple trees here i want some more maple seeds because i want to kind of replant these trees perfect bang 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 if we get enough maybe i'll replant what i chopped down just so that way there's trees here again because i kind of like to leave the in the area kind of natural as best as i can but if i like get only one tree then i'm going to carry it back so that's that's the plan we got this kind of fancy tree here now i'm wondering when we see those kind of mutant zombie things they're very annoying but they're they're basically two hits with the sword so they're not a big deal cool we got two of these trees let's place it perfect okay let's 
grab some more trees. The wood is good too because we can throw that into everything to process for power, so that's not a big deal. Once you got the power, that's pretty much like your your universal kind of unit that you convert stuff into. It's what it feels like. So I'm just gonna kind of do some more chopping here, some trees, maple. Did I get any saplings? I don't remember getting sapling there. Like I said, if I get more than one, then sh sure. But if not, because we want to bring them closer to our place, the trees. Actually, you know what? To heck with it. I'll replant them as I chop them. I changed that idea. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, because if I get extras, I'll bring them back. If not, then we'll all just replant the trees. I think that's what we'll do. So, for example, this tree here will be replaced. We've got a big confer tree here. If we come across any kind of rocks, we'll probably harvest those as well because we do need the other materials. So you slowly use them up as you go along, right? So that's kind of... Oh, look at this. No confer. Huh. Well, oh well, we want to replace it, so we'll have to chop it down. This one might give us two, so then it won't be a big deal. But yeah. But I'm just going to run around here, going to do a little bit of harvesting. I, I did get two, which is nice. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of harvesting, and then we'll be right back when it's nighttime, and then I'll do some of the, the other machinery stuff. Okay, we are back. Here we are. I have an idea. I want to put some stone into the crusher here. So let's see what happens if we put stone. Ooh, do we get powdered? So I'm going to place this box somewhere, probably right here is probably as good as ever. Uh, probably right there. Let's throw a bunch of this stuff that we don't need at the moment. Uh, hammer, we'll throw our tools in here. I'm just going to kind of dump them in here. These kind of our main tools. This is kind of an inventory item. So at least this frees up a little bit of inventory space. I want... I might want to make some more bottles. Two bottles might not... I don't know. Two bottles is enough. Two bottles is enough. So let's see here. So we created crushed stone. What can we use crushed stone for? Can we throw that into the centrifuge? Yeah, the centrifuge takes it. So I wonder what we get out of crushed stone. Maybe concrete mix? <laughs> Maybe? Concrete mix and silicone powder. Oh, okay. So that's how we can get more silicone out of stone. So that's kind of interesting. So we got powder iron ore. So now what do we do? Now we can take this, throw that in here, and this will process. How's the energy? Yeah, we might need to add some more coal ore into this. So the reason I have another generator is because if you want to have multiple machines running, then you know, that would be beneficial, right? So, but now, yeah, excellent. Look at this. We're going to have a lot of materials here, which is very exciting. You know, this silver and stuff, titanium dioxide, oh, iron powder refined, this should all turn into some good stuff. So, so what we can do after all of this is we have our furnace here and we need to make our steel plates, right? So let's just grab all this powder here while we're at it. Are we crushing anything at the moment? <clears throat> I think we can crush some of this stuff. Let's crush five units of coal ore, maybe, like this. Yeah, okay, we can crush some coal. How's the generator slowly being consumed? So what we can do is throw one like that. Now that should counteract, yeah, should counteract the the consumption. And we're, we're going to make powder coal ore. Wow, I think we need a presser as well. So anyways, we need to make steel. So iron powder refined, concrete mix. Silicone powder. Hey, I thought. Okay, now I'm, I need to be careful what I throw in here. Let's see if I throw. Do I have to throw another one? Another one. How about the whole stack? Okay, how much is it going to take when it it actually? What is it going to look like? Oh, it's going to look like iron bars, and it's going to take five. Okay, that's interesting. Gold powder, probably need more gold. Silver, these will probably make silver ingots maybe. Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So those will make silver ingots. What else do we have here? 
Uh, let's see here. Concrete mix. Well, that doesn't do anything. Silicone powder refined. Ooh, what is this going to make? Glass. Okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Can I press that? So I guess I, I guess we need to make a presser. So let's see here. What do we have in here? Have some copper. So we'll always probably take half of what we collect and then throw our logs into here. Let's throw put that many logs. Let's do the same with this one. Let's throw half of the iron in there. And then this is clay bricks to make more of these melters maybe. Maybe not. I'm not sure what we'll do with the clay or the bricks. Just throw them in here for now until we need them. Alright. Okay. Now, so now this one's free. So let's smelt some more silicone here because it's all we can do with it. Let's throw that in there. Perfect. Okay. Now let's go back to here. We, we got some trees to plant. So let's plant those trees. We have our little private place back here that we're going to use. So where we'll plant all the trees that we collect. So let's kind of quickly throw those down over here. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, and then one more tree like that. Perfect, okay. Awesome. So that's an ore vein. That's an ore vein over here to the left. And then there's probably an ore vein up there, which is good. Everything's nice and close. So we need the presser. This is what we need, the pressing unit, which we need three steel plates. So how do I get, oh yeah, I know what we do. So these, the coal powder, that's what we need. What this coal powder does is we throw that there. I think this is where we get the components to make steel, I think. Let's take a quick peek here. Concrete mix coal powder refined. So it refines it missing something here <laughs> silver powder iron powder refined unless we use the crusher no 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 it's, it's something to do with this coal powder refined because then we take this and we do something else to it what happens if we crush copper we haven't tried that I don't think we tried that so let's see if what happens if we get if we crush copper let's crush some of copper uh, three four five what do we get what do we get oh, copper powder ore interesting concrete mix coal powder refined no can't do that with that that turns into silver ingots iron powder there's there's a way to make steel powder silicon powder you know what I'll be right back once I figure this out so yeah Okay, folks, I figured it out. Silly me. It's very, very simple. Uh, there's not enough power. That's what that tells me. See? So we need to... Okay, let's see what happens if we dump a log in here. I wonder if that uses up power faster or slower. So let's actually throw another log in here. And then we should get a plus. We got a crusher. We got some of this stuff. So, yeah. So basically what you do is you take the coal powder refined like I was doing. And you mix it with the iron powder refined. And that makes steel powder right here. Steel powder refined. How silly is that, hey? So I have 50 coal powder. So I think we can type in 50 here. Craft that. Now I got 100 steel powder refined. Now we go into the furnace and watch this. This is where the magic will happen. And this is how we expand into the next kind of tier of machinery. And from here, it just gets better, better, and better, right? Look at that, stealing it. So now once we let that run for a little bit, let's see the power consumption. Okay, it's recharging, excellent. And it's almost out. Nice, just in time. Almost a little bit too much. So yeah, so basically what I'll be doing here probably is grinding, you're grinding this machinery and I'll probably build some more machinery here. I plan on building the other machinery um, machines here. So I tell you what, we're going to finish off with building off the steel machines. So I'll be back once I have all the materials collected for all that. 
Okay, perfect. So to recap everything here before the end of the episode here. So basically with the machinery, so we have our generators. So you need the distributive energy small, uh, at least, and then you can build your generators, which will feed this thing. And then, you know, we have the crusher here for crushing things. That's the first step. Next step is the centrifuge. That's what this is for. Here we're going to put the presser, and here we're going to actually, the furnace should actually go one more in. It should go right here. I'm going to turn it towards us. And then the presser here, and then whatever else along down the line. Right, so that's how we're going to do that. So I think I made enough plates to make the presser. That's the next kind of, yeah, so three steel plates. I think we have everything that we need to make this. So let's craft one. And bang, this will now allow us into the next tier. Because we have the steel, you don't want to use the anvil to crush the, the steel because it's just it's a hard material and it takes a long time, basically. And so... Here we go. So now we have the pressing. So now I'm going to throw. I'm not sure if I should throw all of them. Okay, so it uses up seven power. So let's dump in some power here for it to, to operate with. So wood is a very good power source. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's if it's a difference between coal or wood, but I'd use wood because it's pretty useless. It's renewable, and there's a lot of trees. Coal is kind of a finite until you can place the ore extractors on the ore veins. That's kind of important, but yeah, but here you go. So now that with that steel unlocked, what we'll be able to do with the steel, ooh, I want to go in the workbench. So after the presser now, now basically let's scroll down this list. So now we have basically everything open to us, right? Uh, the ammo, which takes lead plates. I'll show you how to get lead plates. Lead plates you go, you get out of a copper, right? You, you crush the copper ore and then you throw that into the centrifuge, which you get copper powder refined, and you also get lead powder refined. And this is how you make the, this stuff, right? Because you need lead plates. So I imagine that you, we would melt these powders into bars and then press them, and then we have our lead plates. And then the coal powder refined, you know how to get that. That's through this process, through crushing, and then through the centrifuge of the coal, right? So let's see, scroll down here a bit more. Uh, do, do, do. So the next thing to purchase to or to create would be a more of these kind of, of tools, the crushers and stuff, but we need to make a distiller. So that uses steel plates. Not sure what this is for exactly. We'll we'll have to figure that out in the next one. Uh, the electrolyzer we'll have to build. The fill uh, the filler, not sure what the filler does. I don't think I need to build that. The freezer, this doesn't really work. It's supposed to store food. Unless we freeze other things, I'm not sure. And that's, I think, about it for the machines. And then I want to build some lights here. So, oh, we can actually already build some lights here, maybe. We have enough to build two lights. So we can do Street Classic or Lantern Street. So let's build one of each just to see what they look like. Perfect. And we'll finish the episode off. Did I not make one? Do we not have enough materials? 15... Ah, uh, we don't have any iron plates. No iron plates. Ay ay ay. So where's the pressers right here? So we ran out of power. So we did s what? Seven plates with two wood. Wow. One wood there again. So I guess there is a difference with the materials because this probably burns down a lot faster. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, even here they're slow, but you imagine doing this by hand, right? So here, you, you want to have your units, your pressers kind of lined up. So let's kind of press some iron and get bars here. We need a couple of these. Yeah, hurry, hurry. Do, do, do. See how long this takes? Man, so this is why when you're doing this kind of stuff, you're out kind of collecting materials and resources. And you're going back and forth. And this is just what the game is. It's a lot of crafting and harvesting. If that's not for you, then I don't recommend you purchasing it yet? Wait till there's more going on for the game before you purchase it. Let's drink some water here, and let's kind of build this thing. This the street. Bang. Okay. Now let's place these guys and see what they look like. So the one. This is the classic one. Do we have to turn it on? Okay. That's the classic one. 
the other one is like this. Let's kind of do it towards us. It looks like that. I like that as well. Huh. I like both kinds, actually, to tell you the truth, depending on where you use them. So we got some lights here. How much power does that use? I didn't even think about that. Oh, yeah, 0.2 power. So we will have to feed this with power every so often. But, hey, we got lights. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next one. Bye-bye.